Hey guys, and welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you my redstone lamp directions pattern. As you can see, I have it going right now. It makes like nice little tiny arrows on the floor pointing you in the right direction. I don't know what you guys can use this for. I'm, I'm pretty sure like an RPG or something would be really nice. But whatever, let's start building this thing. All right guys, so for this build, we're gonna need to dig down at least five. And that's really all you need to know. Just dig down at least five and have a three spacing. Just like that. <laughs> now the uh, mono stable circuit, you won't really need to make an entire spacing for that little tiny mono stable circuit. So let's just start doing this. So I'm gonna make mine six long. So one, one, two, three, and then skip one, one, two, three, and then skip one, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. So that should be six long, yep. Next, we're gonna put repeaters all throughout the middle. Now you don't have to make your six long, you can make it as long as you want, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna put repeaters in between each and every block and we're gonna set them all to four ticks delay. So make sure they're all on four ticks. This is the most exciting thing ever. There we go. And then at the beginning, the first repeaters, you're gonna only have two of them on both ends set to four ticks delay. And then we're gonna hook redstone right up into the middle and to the two repeaters. Now we're gonna put torches along all the tops of these. Not that, there we go. Like so. Next, we're gonna put blocks on top of every torch. No, you know what? This will probably make it easier on me. <laughs> and then we'll just come back and delete all those middle blocks. Cause it, it is a pain to get those blocks on the torches sometimes. And then if you did what I just did, just delete all the blocks in the middle. There we go. Next, we're gonna put torches on the tops and the sides of the blocks now. So it's coming from the front end, put torches on the top and on the back sides of them. Why did I skip you too? <laughs> I just look back and I'm like, why did I skip those? All right, so get the torches on there. Next, we're gonna put blocks on top of these side torches. There we go, get the blocks on top of those side torches. I could have easily skipped all these parts instead of having to show you them all, but whatever. Now we're gonna take out our redstone lamps and starting from the first torches, we're gonna to bring it over three and then we're just gonna extend it all the way down to as far as you guys went or like that. This should be the last one right here since there's three blocks. Bring it all the way back and fill it all in. There we go. Now we just gotta make the monostable circuit. So to make that nice arrow pattern right here where it looks like the, if you look closely, the light ones and the dark ones are all the same size. So we want that nice pattern. So we're gonna, to uh, when it goes through and we want it to keep going, we come off the third block always. So skip one, two, three, and then bring your dust off this third block always. Pig, get out of here. Get out of here, pig. Next, we're gonna put, going towards the first area, we're gonna put a repeater set to one tick, a block in the middle, another repeater set to one tick delay, a block in front of that, dust on top of the block, dust down, repeater coming off this onto four ticks delay, a block right on top of this redstone to cut it off, a torch on the end of this block so when the power hits this it turns off the torch, a block in front of the repeater, dust on top of the repeater, the dust should come on, and a torch to the side towards the beginning. And then we're just going to hook dust right here so this all hooks together. This is our mono stable circuit. And now for your when you want to turn it off, this will be the turn off switch. So we're going to put a sticky piston here with a block and a piston. And I'm just going to put a lever. But you could put the wherever you want the lever with the dust going to wherever. It's up to you. Now there's three parts you can put the input switch in. This is the main one I usually use. It's perfect. Keeps everything nice and clean. But you can also hook it up to this dust right here. Or this dust right here. But if I was you, I would just stick with this block. So if you want to like bring it further out, you know, just put a repeater dust and you know bring it wherever you want it to go so let's just click the button and check her out so click the button and there we go we got our nice arrows pointing this way go that way that's the, that's where the bathroom is but there you go guys that's how you build my uh redstone lamp directions pattern if you enjoyed this video leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace